Okay, picking up where we left off on the uh, CMOS. So the voltage from the amplifier is converted to an ADC. This makes them highly efficient and they take up less space than the CCDs, which is awesome. So the CMOS is a semiconductor, which is a solid chemical element or compound that conducts electricity under some conditions, but not others. So a good medium for the control, uh, um, for the control of electrical current its ability to conduct varies on the amount of current for voltage it receives or on the intensity of the radiation. So um, we're going to get a little bit further into that here. So they add impurities or known as um, dopants. Um, they are added to the semiconductor to make them highly conductive. So a semiconductor materials do not conduct electricity well on their own so they're doped with impurities to make them more efficient so typical semiconductor materials are listed below and some of those you'll recognize that we've used um, prior and silicone though is the most popular and is the base material for most integrated circuits so that's typically what they use common uh, dopants added uh, to silicone are um, gallium arsenate, arsenate, arsenate um, indium uh, atomo, atomide, and oxides of most metals. Easy for me to say, right? So when doped, the semiconductor becomes a full-scale conductor with extra electrons becoming either negative charge, so the N-type transistor, or positive charge carriers, so the P-type uh, transistors. So most uh, CMOS are semiconductors have both N and P type transistors so they can form a gate that can be controlled um, with electricity electrically as they say. CMOS transistors uh, use little to no power um, when not needed so rapid current directions changes will cause the transition to become hot though and this will cause the microprocessor to slow down so that's its downside so uh, CMOS image sensors convert light to electrons that are stored in capacitors located within the pixel so during the readout the charge is sent across the chip and read at, at one corner of the array at each pixel sever transistors amplify the charge and send it through wires to an array corner. So an ADC turns each pixel uh, values into a digital value. So the CMOS sensors are the most susceptible to noise uh, compared to your CCD. Uh, light sensitivity of the CMOS chip is lower than the CCD. And in a CMOS, the pixel is surrounded with transistors, and many of the light photons hit these rather than the photodiode. So the CMOS uh, uses very little power, whereas CCDs may use as much as 110 times more power than the CMOS. It's crazy. So the CMOS is less expensive to manufacture. They tend to have lower quality, lower resolution, and lower sensitivity, but the technology is improving. So pixel fill factor is greater with CCDs than with CMOS. Despite their differences, CCD and CMOS technologies both provide excellent image capture capabilities and both depend on the type of application. Each has its strengths unique to the application and neither is superior to the other. So Im medical imaging will um, continue to grow and they're finding new ways to make these um, with higher resolution and cheaper. So CMOS designers are working to increase the quality and CCD design uh, designers are lowering power requirements and pixel sizing. So take a look at the summaries here. So CCDs act as a receptor that senses light generated in the scintillator and then sends the light into capacitors in the pixels that convert light to an electrical charge. The charge is released line by line and sent to the ADC and the digital signal is sent for processing. The type and construction of the scintillator as well as the lenses of fiber optic components have an effect on spatial resolution and noise. So your quantum efficiency of the CCD technology is a measure of the efficiency of the light collection at the signal created in the CCD chip. 
So the spectrum sensitivity of a CCD has to match the spectral output of the phosphor to gain the greatest efficiency. There are three types of noise. There's static, dark current, and amplification. Um, light photon production, insufficient incident radiation, broken or inoperable pixels, and temperatures were discussed as significant contributing factors to the noise that is seen. So CCD technology has applications in digital fluoroscopy, stereotactic breast biopsy, digital mammography, and general radiography. CCDs are relatively inexpensive and simple. Uh, CMOS systems uh, use scintillators that, when struck with X-ray photons, convert X-rays to light photons and store them in capacitors. Each pixel's amplifier is switched on and off, converting the light photons to electronic charge, electrical charge. Charges are fed to an ADC and are released at uh, readout. So highly efficient and small, CMOS is a semiconductor that consists of materials such as adamony, boron, silicone, doped with impurities such as gallium, arsenide, or metal oxide. The impurities make the semiconductor a full electrical conductor or the excess electrons become negative or positive, so N or P-type transistors. These transistors can be controlled elect electrically, forming gates to change charge directions. So that sums up Chapter 6 in your Carter book. Make sure you do read your Bouchong and your, um, and what is the other book? <laughs> That's funny. And your Carlton. Woo-wee. You can tell it's late. So you want to read those and make sure that you understand the concepts. Um, I think your Carter book is really good. These PowerPoints, as you can see, follow right along with the book. Um, these are the book's PowerPoints that I've edited a little bit. So um, it's everything you need to know in order to succeed in your digital imaging. Okay, that's all for today.